Hey, I'm Zoe. So I've never done this before, but it seemed like fun, so I decided to give it a shot. So I recently learned about the online community around reading middle grade books, uh, like the booktube community and specifically the Discord, the, the um, Touch of Whimsy Discord. And I've been very excited about it because I very rarely have other people to talk about my enthusiasm over middle grade books and I've just been very excited. So it was particularly exciting when I learned that this month there is a readathon happening. That's the Wonderland themed prompts readathon. And I decided to take part and now I'm just gonna talk about the books I decided to read for it. Um, okay, so the first prompt is Down the Rabbit Hole, where um, I'm supposed to read a book that is that takes place in a different world. And for that prompt, I read the Unmapped Chronicles. Oh, it's reversed. Um, Casper Talk and the Ever Dark Wings. And I did enjoy this book. It was a lot of fun. Um, it didn't like super stand out to me, but there were a lot of really sweet parts and some creative world building that I did enjoy. And I think I'll read more of the series. So it, it's still, even though it wasn't like my favorite favorite, it's still I still did enjoy. Um, and for the second prompt, The Flower Garden, you're supposed to read a book that is aesthetically pleasing. And for that one, that's the book I'm actually in the middle of right now. I didn't go in order. And I did that, I chose The Language of Ghosts by Heather Fawcett. And that one, this one I was really excited to get because I recently read a different book by the same author called Ember and the Ice Dragons that I really loved. And I couldn't really pinpoint exactly what I loved so much about it, but there was something about the writing that just, it was, I just really enjoyed reading it. And so I've been, I, I finally, this finally arrived and I've been really enjoying it so far. So we'll see if it continues, but so far it's promising. And the third prompt I read, oh, the third prompt is to make yourself a cozy reading snack. I haven't done this one yet because I decided for this one, I'm gonna combine it with the Jewish New Year, Rosh Hashanah, that's about to come up this weekend, and eat some apples and honey. So, postponing on that one, but it's coming soon. Um, and then, for the next prompt, it's the, um, the White Rabbit, oh, White Rabbit House, I think. <laughs> I'm squinting at my screen. I'm supposed to read a book for a cozy night in. And for that one, I chose A Pinch of Magic. And that this one is like very popular in the, in the community, the online booktube community among middle grade readers. And I did really enjoy it. It, it was a twist near the end that I did not expect that made, that I was, I'm, and I really love twists. So that was pretty great. And the characters are really cute and they, they really like the the sisters really care about each other it was just like a really fun read and definitely qualified as cozy so i think that was a success and the queen of hearts palace that one so i don't have the physical book for that one because i read the ebook from uh but i read um wondersmith which is the sequel to Nevermore and also extremely popular in the middle grade book community and I loved it. I, um, oh, the prompt is to read something that you, that you know you'll love. Um, and I am um, excited because I have the third book pre-ordered and because I enjoyed the first two so much, I also ordered the first two so I'll have my own copies. So definitely, definitely fan of that series. And finally, for the last book prompt, The Cheshire Cat, pick a book that is strange and mysterious. And for that one, I read The Scandalous Sisterhood of Crick Willow Place. And this one is about a, um, these seven girls who live in a boarding school together. And one night, there, the lady in charge and her brother mysteriously die very suddenly during dinner, uh, presumably poisoned. And these girls, they realize that they, if anybody finds out about this, they're just going to be sent home. And they do not like being home as much, you know, it's very strict, or they're not treated very, very kindly. And so they decide to, to, pretend, to, to pretend that this never happened, and to trick everybody into thinking that 
that they're, um, these people didn't die, that they're not living on their own, and at the same time trying to solve the mystery to make sure that the poisoner doesn't strike again. Um, I did enjoy this. It was, it was a lot of fun. I, I really liked how all the characters sort of had their own personalities, and that even though there were so many of them, and so you kind of got to, it didn't feel like it was super repetitive or anything. And I did not realize, I, I personally did not solve the mystery before it was told to me. Maybe I was oblivious and maybe it's more obvious, but I was surprised, so that was also fun. Um, I've also been reading other books throughout the month, sort of in this first in between these books. I am having a lot of fun. And I don't know if this video is going to be all that interesting to anybody else to watch, but I decided that... I would give it a shot and because I personally want more people to want to watch more videos about people talking about middle grade books so it seemed like a good place to start.